We're back huh. on Access Hollywood Live with Jillian Michaels. Her new book is titled, Yeah, Baby. Yeah, baby. And now Jillian has a quiz to see how much we know about pregnancy and motherhood. We're pros at pregnancy. <laughs> now, let's not pros at motherhood. <laughs> We're learning day by day. So this came out of a lot of the wives' tales that yes. Heidi and I heard and were trying to sort of take advantage of only to find out later what was true and what wasn't. So there was some humor in the book. First one, ready? Yes. True or false? You should avoid spicy foods because they can trigger early labor. Uh, they do not trigger. False, early but labor. I love false. me some spicy beans. But I did eat spicy foods near the end, hoping. And, and right, <laughs> and so at the end, when yeah. Phoenix wouldn't come out, we got some lava-like uh, hot sauce, and let's just say that it was not a pretty picture for Heidi <laughs> no. that day. And no, he did not come out. They had to induce him a week later. So false. You're absolutely right. Okay. Eating which of the following foods may help prevent gestational diabetes, which can cause preeclampsia? And then, like Kim Kardashian. Okay, mm -hmm. ready? A, potassium-rich foods like bananas and avocados. B, high-fiber foods like lentils and beans. C, vitamin D-rich foods like milk and eggs. D, carbohydrates like bread and pasta. I'd say Ooh. fiber or I'd potassium. Say I'd say A. I'll go, Whatever okay. A was. I'll go B then. <laughs> well, in truth, actually, it, it is B, fiber-rich foods. Fiber -rich but potassium foods. is also really good for reducing bloat. So, like, we have a full meal plan, and potassium also helps to lower blood pressure because it flushes out and balances your sodium levels. So you're right. both kind of... Cool. We're, we're kind of kind of here. A, B answer. Beast modes. All right, okay. here we go. True or false? Applying cocoa butter to your body will prevent getting stretch marks. Yes. No. No, no, no. Listen, no. it makes me feel good. It may feel good. <laughs> maybe you'll itch less because I think you're itchy because your skin is stretching. So maybe, but no. It's genetic, isn't it? It's false. Stretch marks. Oh, yeah. One of the things you can do is eat certain things. Mm -hmm. And if you're vegan, forgive me, um, but like grass-fed bone broth will help boost collagen. And oh. so will antioxidants, vitamin C, lycopene, that can help. Help right. boost your collagen, but yes, it is genetic. It just is like genetic, mm -hmm. so you're going to get it if you're going to get it. You can mitigate it with diet, yeah, potentially. But yeah, you're going to if you're going to get it. Stretch marks are so you're hard. We've it. been through so much, and then it's just yeah. I say it's like a badge of honor, even yes. though I personally don't have them from childbirth. But I was an overweight kid, so I got a feel in this particular area. But right. it is what it is. Yes. It's what it is. Yeah. All right. Question number four. You should avoid high sodium foods throughout your pregnancy, but it's especially important to do so in the first month, the third trimester, the last month, the second trimester. The That's last a tough one. Or third, or I would say at the end. The end, because you probably have edema, like swelling, so spot on. Look at her drop really? and look at Dr. Yeah, Morales. Dr. That's Morales. exactly right. Yes. And that is when potassium rich foods will also help reduce your sodium blow. causes swelling, water. all of that, right? I was Frodo at the end, swollen <laughs> up like you have never seen. It was not cute. Frodo my was kind of cute. My ankles, I mean, it was quite something. <laughs> yeah, Heidi was the same. Because the little petite women, like like us, uh, everyone here at the table. And Heidi, same thing. She was like, I'm so miserable. <laughs> yeah. She was so miserable. I felt so bad. True or false? Pregnant women should avoid x ray machines at airports. Mm. Mm. That's a stuff. I think yes. I think yes. They wouldn't have, I think no. I think it's a low amount. It's a very, still. very low amount. So it shouldn't give you overwhelming cause for concern. But if you want to, it's okay to ask for a pat down. Yeah. They'll, they'll the be happy down. to do it for Better you. Better safe. Yeah. I go through the thing and I still get the pat down. Oh, oh, that's lucky me. Oh. That's the guy saying, oh, what they're so the pat yeah. down. I'm like, I don't think it's because you're a threat. <laughs> Things are looking in up. In the book, you write about clean pregnancy. What does that mean? Clean pregnancy means avoiding the chemicals as much as possible yeah. in your food, in the air, in the water, in the off-gassing of the paint you put in the baby's nursery. And again, I, I don't want to scare anybody, but mm -hmm. we do want to mitigate these things. And it's not soft cheese that we really need to be worrying about. Yeah. There are 4 million women a year in the U.S. that get pregnant. There are maybe 400 cases of listeria and very rarely is it ever fatal. Yeah. So, you know, that's the kind of stuff that we need to go, you know, hey, childhood cancers are on the rise. Learning disabilities are on the rise. Uh, allergies in our kids are on the rise. Autoimmune yeah. diseases in our kids are on the rise. So what's really going on? And that's, that's what we're talking about. That's what we need to be looking at. Wait, before we go, how are the babies? Beasts. Yeah. Oh my gosh. They're all, I mean, my daughter is an angel and my son is just a savage. Oh, oh look at it. They're oh, adorable. Yeah. Look at them. It they're takes a rascal them. to love a rascal so and I cute. love them both. Yeah. Thank you, Jillian. The Thank book you again. Guys. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. The Modern Mama's Guide to Mastering Pregnancy, Having a Healthy Baby, and Bouncing Back Better Than Ever is available right now. Our girls already stole mine. You better take yours. Uh, yeah. They're on the hunt oh, for I have mine.